Hello everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can create a professional business email address like hello at the rate your website dot com using Google Workspace and this is not my first video on this topic. I have created a few more videos about the same topic before and for using on different platforms and a lot of this included the free options available. So except for this code add one. Um, all of the other tutorials were about using free option for creating your business email address. Now the main difference between this uh, free options and Google Workspace is because you get a better reliability and better protection with Google Workspace. Basically it is uh, Google Workspace is a basically a platform designed by Google for businesses. So you get a lot of tools and the most important will is the custom and secure business email address. Also you get some extra storage space, a lot of collaboration tools. So all this stuff are included. This is also included in the free plans, the free personal plans that we use every day. But with this you will not get any ads and stuff and also a lot of advantages. So I will scroll down and show you. You can see here. This is the main part we will focus in this video because that's the topic. So you get your free custom email address with every paid plan and you get this. This is the main most important thing. You get phishing and spam protection that you will not get with the free options. Okay. So now the free options will be good enough for a personal blog or something like that. But if you have an online store or you can afford a paid plan uh, because you know if your website server goes down then your email will also not work so if you have uh, used your email at some important place or your customers are sending you emails you will miss them or if your server gets hacked your you can uh, you know your this hacker can get access to sensitive content and you will also lose access to all the emails so you can lose the data with google workspace you can be assured that you will not your website data your email data is secure and you will not use it because when was the last time you lost um, you did not receive any email sent to your gmail id or your uh, google got hacked so those are main advantages and you can read all this stuff um, you get a lot of uh, extra participants uh, depending on the plan you select and the currency will depend on your local country so i will give you the link from this the link you will have to follow smarthelpguides.com slash google work and when you will go to this page um, you will also get some extra 10 percent off coupon codes and some tutorials which i will show you later why you will need to visit this page and so this is the stuff you will get so without further you know, delaying, let's get to the main point and learn how to create your professional business email. So first select the plan and all plans come with a free trial. You can see this option free trial. Okay. So what you have to do is select the plan. So for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this business standard plan. So I will click on get started. Because with this you get a lot of extra storage space, cloud storage, so you can use it for your needs for backing up and stuff. With the this plan, you get only thirty GB. So I will select this plan, and here select uh, your business name. So I will select Smart Help Guides. Okay, and then I will select. It's just me and select your location then click on next and then here fill your name your current email address and then click on next So here select yes your if your website if you have a website select this option yes I have one that I can use so here my website name is smarthelpguides.com click on next
and okay then again click on next so now here um, create the email so for example you can create your name uh, hello or anything you want okay so I will create admin and then uh, set your password okay after the select on this option I'm not a robot and then click on agree and continue okay it will show you that this email ID has been created then click on this go to setup and it will show you welcome to the admin console click on next and now it will ask you to verify that you own this domain so click on this verify okay so there are different methods to verify that you own this domain smarthelpguides.com so that not anyone can create an email address with your domain name so for this verification uh, the first verification method is this text verification so what you will have to do is um, you will have to add this verification code or you can also switch verification method so we'll just select so these are all the uh, options available you can upload a html file you can add a meta tag so if you have ftp access or you know how to upload a file you can use this or uh, this is the most recommended option so i will select this next and then click on continue so now you will have to copy this text record and add it to your DNS records. Okay. So first copy it. And now this part, the verification part is, will actually depend on your domain registrar and your hosting. So I cannot show for all the methods for different hosting providers and domain registrars in the same video. So what you, I will do is I will create a blog post on my website with step-by-step -step instructions. So I will leave a link in the description so you can go there and then depending on your hosting provider or domain registrar you can uh, see the settings so I will include screenshots and everything so you can easily follow the instructions for verifying your domain. So I will go back here, I will copy it and it will automatically show you that um, go to your domain host website so Google has automatically detected that I am using google domains okay so this is really easy and i will go to my domain registrar so google will automatically det detect that if you're using godaddy name cheap or something so i will sign into my google account okay so i have logged into my um, domains website google domains so what i will do is go to edit dns settings now if you're using also using google domains basically you will have to follow the same steps but if you're using namecheap or godaddy go to the link provided in the description and follow the instructions there for the verification part i will scroll down and add a text record here i will put at select ext then leave this blank and paste this information okay so then click on add okay and so after trying the verification txt verification method was not working properly for me so i decided to switch the verification method and in case if the same error happens with you you can also do this so i decided to record this and also show you an alternate verification method so what i did was selected this option and earlier it was selected this txt so I changed it to CNAME record and then click on next. And then uh, you will see this instructions. So it is showing me to create this. So I'll just copy it here. Go to my DNS here. So I'll paste it here. And then just follow the simple instructions. This is the target. So here. And this is the value. This is optional and type it should be seen it's not quite complicated it may seem so but uh, most of you will not probably have to do this 
then click on add so you can see it has been added and the changes will take some hours um, so but usually it happens within few minutes so do not worry now let's go back and try the verification again so google is already running this verification so once it's complete um, less than a minute remaining so once this complete i will show you the next step okay so it seems the c name trick um, did the trick for me okay the c name record so i added this um, c name record and it did the trick for me the domain got verified and usually it doesn't happen that because i had a old record so it was conflicting or something but you know if it happens with you now you know how to solve it so that's great and now let's create a user so i will click on this And you can see this option here. You can add up to 10 users during your 14 day um, free Google Workspace trial. And you can create free alias email addresses like info, sales, and every user will have a different email. Okay. So now let's click on continue. So it will show you this. And if you want, you can add up to 10, use, 10 more users during your free trial. So I do, uh, I do not have anyone else in my team. So I will just click on continue. And then that's done. So now let's move to the third step. And then click on activate. You can just make sure that you read and confirm. You have added all existing email address. So basically, if you are already using a professional business email address, maybe using the free option from cPanel or using any other provider, like if you have other email IDs, like uh, but along with this, the one you created just now. So for example, I created admin at the rate smarthealthkids.com. But if I already have more email IDs that I'm using, like contact at the rate smarthealthkids.com and all, so i should have created that in the previous step. okay so basically here you are confirming that okay you have created all the existing email IDs. so you do not miss any email or your previous emails do not stop working suddenly okay so once you have checked that um, then make check this i'm ready to receive all emails for this domain in gmail okay and you can see um, any existing email id you can just read this term and over the next few hours, um, your mail will stop flowing. So basically make sure that to your previous mail provider. So for the changes will take some time to affect um, basically the DNS process. And so after a few hours, this will start working properly. Okay. So basically it is just said to be safe that it will take more hours than it actually does. So then click on continue. Now you will have to add MX records and stuff. Okay, so again, it's like the same verification process. Um, it will be different for all domain registrar or hosting provider. So either uh, Google will automatically detect and show you the step-by-step -step instructions here. Okay, or you can visit my website and follow the step-by-step -step instruction with screenshots from there. I will make sure that it is easy to understand. So again, I will go to Google domains. So here you can see, I will have to follow the step. So even if you are new, again, you can follow the screenshot, like go to DNS, I'm already done here. And then add this record, synthetic records. So what I will do is scroll up and this is the synthetic records as in the screenshot. And here we will add Google workspace. Uh, okay, Google work. It, Earlier it was G Suite, so now it's Google Workspace. So then just click on Add. Okay, so it has been done. Changes to um, smarthealthcats.com has been saved, and it will take some take hours to take effect. Okay, you can see the record has been added here. Google Workspace enabled um, the stuff. So all the verification, this are uh, these records are required for verification. So this is important. So your emails will not go to spam folder and basically the internal uh, things will know that, okay, it came from your domain and it is a legit email. It is not a spam. So it should go to user inbox. Okay. So now let's go here and activate Gmail. 
So Google will now check that all the MX record has been added. So because I'm using Google domain, so that makes it really easy to add any other Google service with this. So right now it is um, not able to verify. So it will take some time. Okay, I think it was able to get it. So it is added. Um, okay, this is still stuck at step two. So I will just um, skip. Okay, I will just create it immediately. So now you can see you will, um, your trial will expire in 14 days and you can see when the date will take effect. So you you will have to, you can set up the billing right now. So after 14 days, um, the transition will be smooth and your email will not stop working because if you do not um, add billing right now and you forget, so your email may stop working, okay? So it is advised to set up your billing right now I have already done so, so because I use other services also. So basically you will have to just add your payment method, credit card, debit card, whatever you are using. So that's really simple. Everyone can do it. And you can see the verification is done. It is activated. Um, user has been added. If you want, you can add more user here and you can use um, try other apps and stuff. Let's send a test email. And I will complete this, send it. Let's go to Gmail. Okay, now we have logged in and get started. So you can just go to this um, tour here. So to know about the features and stuff. So I'll just skip it right now. Not really need to know it. And you can see it's slightly different than your normal Gmail inbox, but it's quite similar. So that's the advantage. Um, you but you will not see any ads here because uh, we have paid for this, and it's a slightly different. So here you can see it's your main email ID, and here from here you can access all these apps and stuff. Okay, and you can see it's active right now. So you can also change your status from here. So now let's check. Go to our inbox and see. So you can get all the steps and stuff. So now, if I you try to compose, so now let's test if this is working. It has been sent, and you can see it has been sent from my professional email address admin at the rate smart .com to my personal gmail address that's wp guides at the rate gmail.com so guys that's how easy it is and um so you we have set up our professional business email and if you want i can also send an email and just to test this that you also get can receive emails okay so you can see here i got the email that i just sent to this email id and here you can see it has been sent from my pro personal email address to my professional email address okay so basically this is working right now and that's it for this tutorial guys and let's see everything is done you can set up your billing right now it's in free it's by a uh, free trial so if you have any other questions query if you like the video do tell me in the comments your feedback really helps me to improve my video and make this video better. So this video became a little longer than I anticipated, but uh, sometimes it happens. And I hope you found this tutorial useful because that's the most important thing. And do subscribe to my channel for more such useful tutorials. And to get extra coupon codes, check the description. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video.